Welcome to the Sherrod Library. Located next to the Culp Center and directly behind Roger Stout, the library is situated in the heart of ETSU's campus. You can find us online at libraries.etsu.edu. While our building is open 24 hours a day during our fall and spring semesters, beginning 9 a.m. Sunday through Thursday, we close at midnight on Friday and Saturday. Hours are available on the left side of the library's website. Hours for the whole semester are listed and can be seen by scrolling the calendar forward. The Sherrod Library is the place to go if you need help with research, but we also provide great places to study with open study spaces, both for individuals and groups. The library has four floors, which contain both silent and conversational study spaces. Each floor of the library grows quieter as the floors go up. The first floor is an active, louder floor, containing a student commons area, Einstein Brothers Bagels, where you can grab a coffee or a snack, a large, open computer lab, and the Ask Us help desk. The first floor is also where you will go for research help. Other departments located on our first floor include the Center for Academic Achievement, which is ETSU's tutoring center, the Testing Center, and the ITS Help Desk. You can visit the ITS Help Desk if you have problems with your username or need your password reset. It is also important to mention that there are now study rooms on the first floor alongside the next two floors of the library. The second and third floors are quiet conversation floors, ideal for group work. These floors contain open computer labs to the left as you exit the elevators. There's also a large open study room in Suite 311 on the third floor, which is stocked with whiteboards and dry erase markers for students to use. Both the second and the third floors also contain study rooms. Study rooms may be used on a first-come, first-served basis, though students may reserve group study rooms up to two weeks in advance. To book a study room, click on the Group Study link under the Study Spaces and fill out the short form with the room number, day, and time that you'd like. There's also a kiosk on the library's first floor, where you can reserve your group study room. The library has over 100 usable computers on the first, second, and third floors. You can see which computers are available by clicking on the Computers section. Printing is 25 cents for color and 10 cents for black and white prints. ETSU students receive a $50 printing credit each semester. The, the library subscribes to over 200 databases, all of which are located on our A to Z database page. A database is a collection of electronically held materials such as articles, ebooks, films, and more. It can be confusing trying to figure out which database to use for your research topic. However, if you click on the subject menu, you'll be able to narrow down the databases most helpful for any particular subject. For example, let's look at the databases most helpful for nursing. All you need to do is locate and click on nursing in the subject drop-down menu, and you'll receive a list of the best databases to use for that field. The top databases for each field are listed in a yellow drop box at the top of the list. For non-subject specific databases, click on multidisciplinary in the same subject drop-down menu. You can use multidisciplinary databases for any subject. If you want to jumpstart your research, the library has created a one-stop shop for all of your research needs. Library subject guides are guides created by librarians containing all of the library's resources for a particular field or discipline. Visit the research tab to find your subject guide. Then click on Subject and Course Guides. From here, you can find your major or area of interest in the alphabetized list of guides. Let's take a look at this guide for education. Here you'll find a complete list of the best databases to use for education, and you'll also find books and ebooks where you can see all of the newest education books the library has purchased. You can also find out where the library's education books are physically shelved. Under the Journals tab, you can begin exploring all of the education journals that the library subscribes to. It's never too early to get to know the journals in your field. 
There's a lot to explore in the library subject guides, so consider getting to know your subject guide early on. The library provides access to millions of articles, ebooks, physical books, and more. But what happens when you need an article or an ebook that we don't have? Interlibrary Loan is a free service that provides you with materials not owned or accessible by the shared library. We can get you books and articles from all over the world delivered to the library for you to check out. More information on the Interlibrary Loan can be found by going to the Services tab and clicking on Borrow Renew Request. There are also a few campus departments housed in the library building, but not actually part of the library. We've included links to these departments under the Quick Links section of our homepage. The Center for Academic Achievement, otherwise known as CFAA, is ETSU's tutoring center. Here, you can get free help in most subjects. Visit their website for more information or to make an appointment. Have a test scheduled for a class? Many professors will allow students to take their tests at the testing center, which is also located on the library's first floor. Visit their website for more information or to make an appointment to take a test. There are many paths to research help, all of which can be found on our Get Help page. Click the Get Help icon located at the top of the page of the library's website. From here, you can check to see if your question has already been answered by looking at our list of frequently asked questions. You can also chat with us, call us locally or toll free with your question, text your question, email us, or if you need in-depth research help, you can make an appointment with a librarian by clicking on the research help icon. Just fill out a short form telling us which librarian you'd like to work with. If you don't know who you'd like to work with, click on No Preference. Select your preferred date and time, and then enter your name, email, and phone number. We offer both in-person and Zoom meetings in the event you wish to seek help from another student instead. In that case, there are library ambassadors deployed in buildings throughout campus. Library ambassadors are undergraduate students who have received two semesters of information literacy and research skills training. They are adept with using the library's databases and can help you find quality sources of information for your research papers and projects. Library ambassadors are available in person and via Zoom. Dates and times are provided under the Research tab. Under Research Support, scroll down and select Research Assistance. Then scroll down to the second box and click Learn More About Library Ambassadors. No appointment is necessary. Ambassadors help students on a first-come, first-served basis. This tutorial concludes your orientation to the Sarid Library. To learn more, please visit us at libraries.etsu.edu. We look forward to seeing you next semester.